Hi everyone, quick video on how to download and install Tuner Studio and how to set it up for first use. So, first thing, go to www.tunerstudio.com brings you to this website where you'll go to Downloads and from the list of options identify the right operating system version so Windows, OS X or Linux and then pick the right version of software. So what we want is Tuna Studio MS version. Download. While that's downloading, if you haven't already paid for a registration for Tuna Studio, go to Shop Now, Tuna Studio MS, and Add to Order, and complete your checkout. You'll then be emailed a registration number for Tuna Studio, which you'll enter into the software once it's installed. That will give you access to additional features such as VE Analyze Live, which is one of the most popular features for the paid version of Tuna Studio. So, with it downloaded, double click the file and complete the installation. Tuna Studio is now installed, Let's double click the icon on my desktop and Tuna Studio will run for the first time. Under help, click enter registration and enter your registration details. Once entered, click OK. Tuna Studio will then verify your registration and prompt you to restart the software. Once restarted, you are now using the registered version of Tuna Studio. And in order to connect to our ECU, we need to create a project. Select Create New Project. Give the project a name. And you can enter a description for your project as well. If you have your ECU now connected to the computer, you can use the detect button to detect the firmware version in use. If you haven't and you just want to start having a play around with Tuna Studio, you can use the show advanced offline setup and select an ECU definition from the list. There's lots of different versions in there. Select the one that best describes the ECU that you're going to be using. And next, we can now select some standard settings for our project. So oxygen sensor type, temperature display, etc. This next screen is about the communication between your computer and the ECU. If you've got it connected, you can test it. If not, click next. You then select your default dashboard for Tuna Studio, click finish. With your project now created, you can start inputting some of your other basic settings and when ready, begin tuning your engine. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to see similar topics in the future, please leave a comment with the type of things you'd like to see me cover and I'll be glad to do so.